Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 with me, Fu, and these are the virtual reality missions. Uh, before we go, I'm just gonna put in my name. You know, eh, you know, I thought I was gonna go with Alex, but why don't we go with Fu? you know? Just cause, just, just cause, you know. Uh, so how have you all been? <laughs> the famous question. Basically, I'm doing these VR missions because I don't really get the chance to talk about my real life with the game. Uh, but it's been a while since I last uploaded the, the last episode of Metal Gear Solid 2, so I figured I should give an update. You know, let's let's live in somewhere else. Vatican City, how about that? Nah, come on. Well, good old US of A. Uh, no, <laughs> anyway. Um... So while we're doing the VR missions, I'll talk about what's kind of been going on in my life. Anyway, let's go on with the sneaking missions, in which we just have to get from the beginning to the goal without being discovered. Now I am going to be just showing the solutions, because otherwise it'll be about, instead of being about 20 minutes long, it'll be about an hour and a half long, just showing me getting caught. Because I'm not very good at these. I also haven't done these in a long time. And these sneaking missions are essentially... They're essentially the puzzle mode of the game. Like, figure out how to get from point A to point B in the fastest time to get the best score. So, again, it's a lot of trial and error trying to find out how the pieces fit together. So like I said, I'll be cutting out all but pretty much the answers, just, just for time's sake. And a lot of them, you, you gotta throw a guy like that in order to get to the goal in the fastest time possible. But it doesn't count against you, as long as you don't kill a guy. I think you don't... You might be able to kill a guy, I'm not sure, actually. As long as you don't get caught. Because if you hurt someone, it, you don't get caught. It, you just go into caution mode if they... Well, you, you'll see in this. If they, once they get up, they'll be like, Ah, I'm under attack! Go into caution! Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? See right there! Anyway, so, I haven't put up an episode of Metal Gear Solid 2 in about two weeks, and I also only have three episodes of the LP up right now, putting them up about a week away from each other. There's a reason for that. School? <laughs> yeah, no, I go, I, I go to university. Oh, before I go on, um, sometimes... Sometimes it changes from orange to blue, and I'm not sure why. I think it's supposed to be like, oh, day and night cycles. It's not dependent on the level, because this level you can play it when it's orange as well. But it changed while I was recording these, so I just decided to leave it in. But I go to University of Connecticut. And we had finals last week. So it was getting pretty busy, especially when... You know you don't have a lot of time because you got projects to do. Oh, by the way, this is something I haven't shown in the LP proper yet, but you can do this little drop thing while you're hanging from a ledge. It says it in the manual, and you have to do it for some of these VR missions. Like, there, there is a level that hinges on you knowing that. But not many people know about it unless they've played the game to pieces. But anyway, it was finals last week, and I had about a month of just hard work that I had to do. Also, I love these parts of the VR missions, like disappearing floors, those panels I rolled over, they'll, they'll show your footsteps behind you in, like, red after you step on them. But I had, a, like, a, a solid month's w worth of work. But I, I figured, okay, I can do this. I can write the essays and the papers I do and still record. And I did, to a certain extent. But you also, I also had a couple of teachers that... On top of the workload that they had scheduled, they just let, they're they're just giving me like my Irish teacher was was really bad at this. Would, would just give me assignments out of the blue that would take us quite a long time to, just to write. Like um, my Irish teacher, we we wanted to put together like an Irish language newsletter because we have the the Ancuman Gaelic, the Irish language society, uh, at our school that we started last year. And we figured, you know, let's put it together a newsletter. But she decides to assign that as a homework 
assignment, so we have to make it a little bit better. Uh, no. I'm, I'm complaining, I know, but you know what? I graduated yesterday. I can complain. <laughs> also, I love. I'm, I'm taking some real risks here. <laughs> just watch until, like, watch this guy. I love what I do here. I love that you can actually do this in the game. You're like, just stand next to him. He's not gonna see you if you turn the right way. <laughs> oh man. I love this game so much. It's just some of the little things that you figure out after playing it for so long that you can do. Like, when I first played this game, I didn't know that I could stand right next to a guy and he wouldn't see me as long as I don't bump into him. <laughs> like, I think I'd do it here again. Or something close to it. Yeah, because I'm just going to duck right by this guy. He's not going to see me. <laughs> Any other game, he'd just be like, oh, who's that? But no. Oh my god, but I am done with my undergraduate studies. Which means I get to go to grad school now, because, well, I'm going to New York University. Old school New Auric. For Irish studies. So that's gonna be fun. I may end up going across to Ireland to complete it in a year, or I might take a year and a half. I'm not sure. It'll be fun, though. <laughs> I love that they have a sneaking level that has the cardboard box. You have to use the cardboard box in this level. Well, I don't, you probably don't have to. I haven't found a way you can get around it, though. But yeah, this level 9, we're almost done with the sneaking missions, so... Oh, by the way, this is all post-recorded. There's no way, no way in hell that I would record this live and do live commentary. This is hard. These levels are hard, especially once we get later on, because I'd just be like, I, I, I don't know what I, I, uh, I got, I can't pay attention to what I'm saying and talk at the same time, so I didn't. <laughs> Ooh, careful there. Yeah, see, right now you can see the footprints those plates leave. <laughs> all right, and there we go, that's all the sneaking missions. Those are the methods that I use to get the highest scores. Some of them aren't really terribly high. I mean, I think there are a couple that are just 16 points up. That's all 10 of them. And we'll be doing the other part of sneaking mode, eliminate all. And basically what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to eliminate every enemy. You can either knock them out, tranquilize them, or kill them. So we start out with a USP in every level. And, you know, you can just shoot them. But it's not going to go very well if you decide to go that route, just because... You know as long as you here, we didn't get Autocon going like... That's great, Snake! Because we, we didn't do as well as we could have. And I, you, you can see the M9 sitting there in a box, and you can do that, but... I'm, I'm going to go for a little bit more creative oh. of a solution. Because, like, like it uh, said at the beginning, you can always knock them out too. You don't have to tranquilize them. <laughs> It's a little slower, but whatever. Whatever. Anyway, these these are the hard ones, because it's not hard to get through the level, because, I mean, you've got plenty of stuff. You got, you got the USP, you get the M9. In order to get the first place, though, these are, these are some of the hardest levels for me. Just because... Like I said, this is kind of the puzzle half of the game. And a lot of people don't actually play this game at all. They play through the story part and they're like, eh, VR missions, I don't need that. These can be pretty fun in their own rights, though. And there's a couple levels that I will... I will relish revisiting because they are absolutely unique. By the way, uh, I don't have to show these if you guys don't want me to. Uh... <laughs> I think it's, I think these are neat, but, especially because I wish that I could find, just, playthroughs of these levels easily, so I could know what to do, <laughs> but, <laughs> if you guys don't want me to do these, these more boring ones, I, I won't. There are a couple, like I said, the more interesting ones, uh, that I will be doing, no matter what you guys want. 
So if you guys want, want me to like skip some of these boring ones, like especially weapons mode, which I'm not really good at, it might take me a while to figure it out. But if you guys want me to skip it, that's a that's fine. <laughs> Also, the holdup is amazing in this, in this, in this mode, just because it makes it so much easier. It's also just like, it's a puzzle mode, figuring out how to take everybody out while knocking them out or tranquilizing them, but also a puzzle mode to like, figure out how to get the M9 while doing that. So like you said, the like you like you saw right here, the M9 was actually after the first guy that we met. I actually screwed up here because I could have gotten this guy a little earlier, but yeah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Tea bag for great justice. Tea bag for victory. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see some of the scores where I didn't do quite so well, <laughs> but. That's not that important. Trying to, okay, I, okay, I forgot which level we were at for now. All the levels are set up the same too, so if you do well at the sneaking level, it shouldn't be that hard to do well at Eliminate All. I mean, they're not really trying to trick you, they're just trying to test your skills. Eh, I didn't really want to go that way anyway. It'd just be a little bit harder. Because, I mean, I can take out everybody from up here and they won't even see me. I mean, this guy won't... This guy will never see, what, see that hypodermic needle going into the back of his neck. No matter how hard he tries. I mean, these are still pretty easy. I think it's next level where we start seeing some of the really hard ones. Yeah, level 6? I think so. Let's see. Oh no, this one, this one is actually one of the interesting ones that I did, um, just because this is the first time I, I, I did this level in this run-through. And even though it looks like I'm absolutely cocking things up right now, you'll be surprised at how, how well this all goes. <laughs> like, right now I was just like, like, the way I play it is I usually just bumble through a level, doing as much damage as I can, just so I can figure out a plan of attack. And that's kind of how I started this level, but then I was like, you know what, let's do, let's just run with it. You know, I, I'm not doing that badly. I've got a caution, but I don't think that takes away from my points. So I decided, yeah, wh whatever, we're, we're good. <laughs> and what do you know? Got the top score. <laughs> Only by... Oh no, actually, by 918 points. I thought it was only by, like, a couple of points, but still. Is this it? Yeah, this is the this is the really hard one. This one, actually, I... I didn't remember how to do this one, surprisingly enough. And I thought I would be able to remember all of them. By the way, I remember that punch. We're gonna need it. But this, going, this one can be really, really difficult just because of these two guys. Because you don't want to wait for them to go back. So what you do is hold them up and punch them in the butt. Because <laughs> um, if you saw earlier, it told us that if you hit someone in the in the heart, the head, or the groin, it'll take them out immediately. So you can actually punch guys in the groin, and you can actually punch them in the groin through the butt <laughs> in order to take them out. And it actually ends up being pretty handy, especially in, well, that level. Of course, I wanted to get them both, but... Eh. Oh yeah, acrobatics, flipping around mid mid roll. <laughs> oh yeah, this is another one of the ones where I sort of bumbled bumbled around, not knowing what I was doing yet. I still did fairly well. Just because it's it's again knowing where all the enemies are more than anything else. Like I, I I definitely thought that guy was gonna give me an alert or something, and I'm 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 like oh no I missed that guy. What's uh but, you know just 
be patient, just be calm, and you can save it all. No big deal. NBD. See, easy enough. Now what is next? We've got two- oh my god, I f oh this is- okay, so I- there are actually two versions to this level that I show in this video. Just because this is probably the hardest level out of all of them to figure out. Like what I was trying to do here was gonna punch him in the butt. Because it's an easy way to take him out, you know, after holding up him up. But this guy's always gonna see you if you try to go down and hold him up. So I figured I'll take advantage of the level layout because this guy turns around and goes back there. And this guy sees you, and sees you and comes over, but, you know, you can take him out. I figure we're, we're doing pretty well, you know. Going quite fast. We'll, we'll get there, no, no problem. I'm not stressed out at all, that's totally not while I'm doing, doing the crouches. But no! Second place! I thought that was pretty quick. Nope. This was actually one of the maps that I, I actually spent like half an hour just trying to figure out before I f uh, before I realized you, you have enough time to grab the M9 and go around this way. And then you hold him up here, the other guy's not going to see you. Of course I miss. It's not my fault, the gun pulls to the right. Or the left. <laughs> I know my directions. I, I'm, I, I graduated. I'm, I graduated college. I know my directions. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. You just gotta be quick. One last level to go. Let's see how I do, shall we? I have no idea what's in the top left of this level, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's punch a guy in the butt. <laughs> I love that that works. <laughs> For the longest time, I, I never knew you could just punch a guy in the groin or in the butt and they would go down. It's fantastic. <laughs> there we go. Also, sorry about my jerky aim. I'm not the best at aiming in this game, but I'm, I do well enough. It's no big deal. There we go. Of course, this guy's going to see that, and he's going to use, uh, I think he's got binoculars out when his vision cone goes long like that, but we're going to take him out, right? Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, god damn it, he had to move, and we're out of ammo. Well, guess we'll just have to punch him in the butt. Punch him in the butt. Come on. Okay, we'll punch him in the groin. <laughs> and that's it. That is all of the sneaking missions for Solid Snake. Now, there are different versions of Solid Snake, but we'll get to those later. For now, and there are, of course, different VR missions that you can do with Solid Snake. We're not done with those by a long shot. By the way, tell me if you want to see more missions like weapon mode, where it's just like, oh, learn how to use the assault rifle. Or first person view mode, where it's kind of like a first person shooter action stealth game, but doesn't show you a video, unfortunately. But yeah, that is it. We are done with Solid Snake sneaking missions. Which means we have 3.9% of the VR missions done. Oh yeah! <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 VR missions with Mio Xfu.